Moving over to Middle East, Basil, can you please bring us up to speed on what's happening in Middle East? Yes, Bargav, sure. In the EMEA roundup today, we had one assessed event and 26 other developments uh, in the Middle East in Israel. Uh, the Israeli Knesset, which is the parliament, today voted in a preliminary reading of a bill to dissolve itself. So the bill was supported by the, uh, the majority of the uh, parliament with the 110 low, uh, lawmakers voting with. Uh, a second and a third vote is expected to be held next week. So as uh, said yesterday, the, uh, as said in the previous round, uh, roundup, actually, uh, the, this will create uh, political uncertainty and uh, maybe security instability in the country, as uh, we have seen uh, before with the attacks that happened within Israel. And uh, also an interesting development in Turkey, uh, security forces detain numbers of an Iranian uh, members of an Iranian intelligence cell operating in Istanbul. This cell was uh, actually uh, allegedly uh, preparing to attack Israelis in Turkey and the largest city, which is Istanbul. So businesses should keep an eye on this uh, also evolving situation. Uh, over to you, Sitati, to cover on uh, Africa. Well, uh, thank you, Basil and uh, Today in Africa, we assessed one event and covered nine uh, other developments. And the major issue is on the uh, severe weather conditions uh, featuring heavy rainfall, flash floods, and landslides in Abidjan, in the Ivory Coast. And um, so far, six people have died and uh, hundreds of others displaced from their homes uh, over the last uh, two days. And the most affected areas in the city include uh, Kokodi, uh, Bingaville, and Yopogo. And uh, the country's uh, meteorological uh, our uh, department has warned of uh, continuation of uh, these uh, weather conditions uh, in the coming days. And so businesses with the operations in the Ivory Coast, especially in Abidjan, need to watch out for uh, disruption in uh, road travel due to flooding and landslides, as well as uh, prolonged uh, power outages. So that's all from Africa. Uh, back to you, Basel, to cover your rules. Thank you. Thank you, Sitati. So in Europe today, we had around 10 developments. In Italy, uh, a series of electricity blackouts uh, took place in the uh, economic capital, Milan. Uh, it was due to a massive increase in uh, power usage. So the high power uh, consumption uh, comes amid the soaring temperature, uh, temperatures that, hap that is happening uh, across Europe, especially in France, uh, Spain, and uh, Italy itself. So the power uh, outages were uh, about two, three, or 14 hours, depending on the area in the region. Uh, and according to the energy supp supplier in the area, the energy consumption has increased by around 35% in the last month. And this comes amid the, uh, the pressure uh, between, or actually the tensions between the European Union and uh, Russia over uh, the gas supply cuts that happened to Italy and Germany in the past uh, week. So this is all from the EMEA today. Thank you. Thank you, Basel and Sifate, for the coverage. That's a wrap from us. Thank you very much for joining us. Please do reach out at info.apacassistance.com to know more about our services, especially our membership services. Thank you.